SHOT SHOW 2012, the Net and Fancy Project, SOG Knives. You guys who have been with the project for a while know this already, but the very first knife review I ever did in TMP was a SOG blade. Let's ask Chris which one it was. It's a Flash 1. Yes! Say hello to Chris, Director of Marketing, hello. SOG Blades. And see ya. we're going to cover some new stuff that you guys got going. Yes. We're going to cover some old stuff that you guys got going. That you love. That I love. We're going to kind of lose ourselves in the blade here with SOG knives. So many of their blades that I just freeform? love. Freeform, baby. That's what they like. That's what yes. I like. Totally unscripted. Totally ridiculous. Yes. Messing up as we go along. And let me first, <laughs> first seriously, thank you for an awesome giveaway in December yep. 2011. You can thank this man right here for throwing in for 10 winners or whatever it was. It was something. I don't forget. You, oh, it was agency knives. Yep. A couple agency knives. There was five, wasn't it? There was five, five, five. Winners. That's agency right. Agency and two flashes and two. Mini Aegis. Mini Aegis. Yep. The black ones. Yep. So, I know we heard from those guys. They were just very grateful. Thanks a lot to Sog Knives. They were pumped. That, they were pumped and that was just a great, great giveaway. Yeah. All right. There we go. Got we that out of the way. With you guys. We'll do that again in the future perhaps with Sog in 2012. We'll see how it goes. Let's talk about new things. Saw. What about this right here, dude? We Not saw yet. these off camera, and I'm stoked on these. Hit it. You want to do this now? Yeah. Okay. Do it now, freeform, baby. Okay. Well, we've got I here. Saved them for last time. I was just about saying. Should we tease them? <laughs> no. Go now. I screwed up, dude. <laughs> I threw the best out first. I'm totally do it backwards. Do it back. Can we rewind? No. Press. All right. So press. we got Look we got out. we got this the Slim Jim. Look, Look how, how thin, thin that, is. that is, dude. Wow! Oh my gosh. Got two deep, sizes, look at that. The deep carry pocket clip, look at that. You know I love that, Chris. Hello? You know. We all love it, that's why, that's why we do it. Well, some guys complain about it. Oh, it's too, it's, oh I hate it because I can't lose hands? my knife as often. <laughs> like, go ahead. Okay. All right, we got a little safety on here as well. Okay. Yeah, so, well, this one you can just pull it off. So you don't have to super oh, Okay, just pliers, Ooh, gone. Pop it off, yeah. Nice thing. Assisted, thumb step, bam. Look at that. Look at how slim that thing is. What's the name on this again? That's a Slim Jim. Slim Jim to steel OS8? Yes, OS8. Okay, and stainless then it's steel, cryo. Steel yep. That blade shape is reminiscent of a trident blade shape, kind of. A little, little stretched elongated. Out, stretched out, yep. yeah. Jimping so you... check, jimping check, standby, testing, testing. Awesome. So if you want to see elongated, Look at that. And this is what, Slim Jim Large? XL. <laughs> Slim Jim XL. Look at that. That is sick. Of course, you know, we could make these FFG full flat grind, but whatever. Boy, the jimping on this one's even better. What's the blade length on that, about three and a half? I think it's like over four. Really? I think it's four and a half. Weighs nothing. I would say that weighs 2.7. Should we look it up? Yeah, look it up. Let me see how close I am. I would say 2.7 would be my guess. Damn, right on. Are you serious? Oh, shacks it! <laughs> never seen this knife before in my life. Seriously, I never have. Have I? No. Have you ever shown it to anybody ever? Uh, other people today, but no, yeah. not, not. This is a prototype blade, right? Yes. And production when? End of March, early April. Okay. And we're gonna have black versions as well. Uh, can, stealth. What's a uh, uh, suggested retail on them? 65 and 75. Okay, a little bit much. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. Um, but honestly, you know, a lot of the sock stuff is really awesome, and it just costs a little bit more. Yeah. Whatever. Street price will be a little Whatever. lower. So. It's never stopped me from buying a sock. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have such huge wins as the agency for streeting around the 125. Yeah. yeah. So it just depends on which blade you're talking. Yeah. Huge wins. I'll predict these are going to be hot sellers for SOG. This is a Slim Jim and Slim Jim XL and OS8 Steel. Very, very, very cool. Great pocket clips on that. Lockbacks, because there's no room for the liner lock like right, you're saying. Right, right. You can't make a liner lock. Can do it. Can do it. How about the edge out of these? There's no prototypes, so they're not, yeah, they may not be I can't right. judge it. And I, I, I was checking these off camera. Maybe tighten up the pivot point a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're prototypes. 90, 95% there, so we're not we're not production ready at this point. Cool, cool, cool. So. All right, uh, new multi-tools I'm seeing here. What, that? Go ahead, lay it out, brother. That's all right. We got the out. Power Duo. That's what it's called, Power, power Duo? Power Duo, yep. Okay. Compound leverage, like we're known for. Okay. Little gears there. Nice. Cool. Do you well, like we, it? I love it. Do you like it better than any of your multi-tools in your lineup? Uh, I would probably carry this one more frequently, yes. Why? A little more practical. And you can access the blade quicker. Yes, that's why. Yeah. I'm going to use the knife more frequently, so I want the knife to be easier access. 
Okay, so kind of a thumb hole deployment thing yep. going on there? Yep, thumb hole deployment. Okay, some guys say actually. that's very similar to a certain company whose names begin with an S. Yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe. not. There's a lot of companies that do the thumb hole deployment. Dude, there's so much sharing back and forth between knife companies, it's not even funny. Yeah. It's honestly, with something successful, you're gonna find it other places. Imitators. There you go, there you go. Yes. Uh, I like the deployment on this blade. There's your locking button on this, yeah, guys. Right there. Uh, the hollow ground blade, good, no jimping, but I don't know if it'd be functional here, yeah, maybe, maybe, but it's a multi-tool for crying out loud, so really fast uh, deploying blade, I would say probably along the lines of the Charge series by Leatherman, which is one of my all-time reference speed deploying blades, and you have some other MTs in your lineup if yes, the blades yes. come out. Yeah, yeah the power fashion. assist got assisted our blades open from the outside. Right. Yeah. You know what the problem is we're going to have in this booth review? Making it short enough. There's so much to talk about. We got half an hour. Okay, we'll use pretty much every minute of that. <laughs> that guy over there just said hello, he's big TMP here. Didn't want to be on camera. We just put him on camera, don't tell him. <laughs> All right, you have a black version of this too. Black version. What's these, are that toothpick or something? Uh, toothpick tweezers. Let's check them out. So, I forgot which one this one is. This is a duo, toothpick. is that right? Power duo. Okay, power duo. Yep. Nice, okay. Then we got tweezers. He just throws them out. Perfect. <laughs> Disposable. <laughs> They're not disposable, but yeah. Okay, yeah. big We're question. We're having fun here today. Look at PFI, dude, totally just chilling. You can tell who's into knives and who's isn't. Paul, oh, just saying. Show them the precision plier head on that, though. They are All right, very interesting grind. I don't want to cut myself. I don't want to be embarrassed. Okay. Check like out the pliers. I really like that. Look at how tight they close. Power Duo, am I getting the name right? Yep. Nice, nice. So that'd be an MDMT, medium duty multi tool, yeah, exactly. in black and cl and clear. It's and, not a heavy uh, duty. What's your weight on that? Shit, I'm gonna guess. Let me see. I'm probably gonna be off on this one. It's not super light, Chris. I would say seven ounces. A little high. Six point three. Oh, not bad though. Okay, so that's lighter than a charge. Yeah. So you don't have scissors. Maybe a couple other things. Where's your drivers on it, by the way? I didn't show that. Well, we don't have the driver. Oh yeah. There you go, right there, dude. Yeah. So your drivers, there's your Phillips driver the Phillips right driver, here. Yep, yep. Medium length shank, flat blade, and I hope you like those because that's what you get. Yep. No said, price point. They're right around $70, $70, $80. Uh, again, a little bit high, just keeping it real. Yep. Keep going, brother, what else you got? Dude, Actually, I love that one. I do love this one. This is their, do you, you guys own two? We own two logic. We bought yeah, them right. about a year and a half, two years ago. You told me that last year, yeah. I think, yep. right? Yep, yep. Yeah, it's funny the things I forget. Tool logic, show them that. It's a lock Dude, blade. It's a, it's a key knife. knife. You know, most key knives are like cheap Chinese knockoffs. This is lock back. Dude, I love it. I think it's just cool. Illegal in the UK because it locks. Exactly. How gay is that? <laughs> Pretty gay. Yes. I'm just saying. Look at that doodle. You like it? That's a locking blade. That's, That's awesome. A, and I mean, if you want to be low profile and just have a blade on your person to exactly. open up packages exactly. or something, yep. I love this. Price point. It's nice. $12.95. Totally in there. Totally, totally in, in there. there. Yeah. Got a couple lights. I see. Oh, you want to go to the lights? No, not really. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Uh, unless fine. they're super awesome or super cheap. Your competition uh, 105, is. 130. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe later. We'll Maybe. think about it. We'll think about it. But do this one? Yeah, show them that one. It's nice. Good point. What do you think I love? Chris is laughing off camera. He's like, dude, I just can never predict what you'll like. <laughs> right? Yep. You're laughing. We're like going to the case. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. He's like, I would have never thought you would have liked that knife. I was like, I know. It's just weird. The thing I love about this knife is the blade shape. First and foremost, that's a full flat ground blade and extremely sharp jimping on it. And it's got a built-in flashlight in it. Oh. Whoa, check that out. Batteries replaceable? Yep. Two AAA batteries, liner lock. Does it have a whistle? No whistle. Fire steel. No. What is that? It's got a flashlight. This is to pull the batteries out. Oh, I see. All right, cool. So AAA batteries. And what's the name on this again? Blade Light. Blade Light. I love Os 8. Os 8. Price point? Uh, 85. I think you'll have moderate success with that. I think, I'm saying it's going to, yeah, let's show them that one. So we have the fixed blade. Oh, check that. More lights in the blades from SOG. Love this blade shape. This oh, 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 let's figure it out. <laughs> Luckily, they don't have an edge on them. 
They do. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> I love this blade shape, and it's very reminiscent of something we talked about off camera, and that is a saw government agent. Government agent. Yeah. Too expensive. Which for is out of production, unfortunately. Yeah. Bummer, bummer, bummer. I uh, love that blade shape. Excellent. So what do we have in here? It, this handle right here is that batteries in only? Uh, batteries, tang, electronics. It's waterproof to about. 30 feet. Full tank or no? It's a rat tail you full tank. Tank goes all the way back to about here, I think. Okay. Cool. It's one AA battery in there. It's pretty lightweight, too. I wonder if I'd be able to baton with this without it falling apart. What do you think? As long as you're not hitting on the handle. Okay. I don't hit on the handle when I baton. I'll be smacking it right about here. That, you'd be surprised how many knives we get back. I was hitting on the handle and broke it. Uh, you should warranty it. Yeah. Which Learn how what baton. is your warranty, by the way? Lifetime. There you go. As That's long as you're not stupid. It. Great handle shape on that. Great handle shape, and I love the blade. Pretty lightweight, and it looks like a pretty stylized sheath, too. Nice sheath, yeah. Really nice sheath. You got this cool lock right there that holds the blade in. Yeah. Won't pull Ooh, I like out. That. Snap. Did you hear that? Just like, boom. Security. Love it. All right, what's this one right here, Holmes? That one? That one? They're both the same knife. Same right? knife, yeah. Do you have a non serrated? Yeah, there it is. Slip joint. Slip joint. For all the guys in the UK that go. can't have Virginia. that knife, but they can they have, have this knife. one. The protectionist strike again. Yep, it's oh got a half gosh. stop in the middle so you don't wrap your knuckles when you're closing it. I was working that blade off camera, guys, and it has a stiff blade. I mean, it really locked. Yep. Is that a prototype thing or is the fact? No, that's we production. We, we built them that way. You want it so it does not close on your fingers as you're getting your work done. Yep. As much as you can with yep. the slip joint. Exactly. Within reason. So yep. Jimping check. Excellent. G10 check, yep. medium traction, pocket clip check, outstanding. A little bit flares out too much. Way too much. Just clip right here, dude. No. Uh uh. That's going to scratch my car when I walk by it right here. We'll fix what? that. It's still, it's still pre production. We'll okay. see if we can fix that's, that. That's stupid right there. I'm just saying. Where's your, uh, do you have, what do you carry right now? What am I carrying? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Compare that pocket clip against this. I'm talking how much it comes out. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. See the flare out, little the big yeah, old gotcha. spoon bill on that gotcha. one? But like you're saying, it's prototype. What is that one, by the way? That's the Mini Spec Elite, or Mini, yes, Mini Spec Elite. That's kind of a cool blade. This is Chris's personal knife he's carrying today. Do you always carry a SOG, or would I ever find you with another manufacturer's blade in your pocket? Always a SOG in my pocket. You got a lot to choose from, don't you? Yes. What's your favorite EDC SOG? The Visionary One. Really? Yeah. We'll go take a look at that. I like this blade, actually. This Let's is my show it. blade. Meaning what? You cut boxes all day with it. You just stomp on it. Still lost it. Yeah, no, that's VG10. VG10? Japan. Dude, I love VG10. It's one of my it, fave yeah. steels ever. All right, so that's our slip joint. Well, what's the name of that one? I screwed it up. Slipzilla. Slipzilla. Okay. And then we have these ones right here. Did you want to show those? Those are, all, those are all current production. They, yeah, they've been out a while. Yeah. I haven't really talked about them much. Um, and what's this one here? That one's ugly. I don't even know if I want to air, waste air time on it. That's fine. Not going to do it. Sorry guys, if you like it, go on their website, sogknives.com. Time for a walkabout? Yeah. Check this. This is Lee Army Special Edition knives, the Gunny Water series. Bottom. Those are good looking blades. And I'm gonna come from this side, Chris. What's this one called? The, the revolver. The revolver. How do those sell? Great. Do they? Yeah. They're, that's a lot of knife for the money. I think it what $40 streets, retail yeah, street price. Around $45. Probably, no, retail is around 40 Street price probably. What? 28 ish, 30. Okay, that's totally in there. Yeah. Steel type? It's a. Uh, Don't tell me off six. No, it's a. Uh, I hope you got rid of all your off six. CR or something. Nice. Uh, fusion blades. That is a lot of knife for the money. The Aura. No. Aura. Break that one out too. That one's going to be reviewed. Love this knife. Look at that deep handle. These are overseas produced knives, but check out the price point on this knife. Seriously. This thing is so sharp out of box. I have one in TMP right now. I got to go thump on it a little bit. Great handle. It's kind of goofy looking, but man, is it a functional blade. The sheath on that's like a ballistic nylon, isn't it, Chris? Yep. yep. All right. I think those are around like, what, 26th Street or something? Yeah, exactly. Just really affordable. You have two different sizes of the ore to choose from. And these Sock Fusion Bowies are actually great blades uh, for the money. They're overseas produced. They have uh, Craton handles. Yep. They're full tang hammer pommels too, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Screws in right there. Do you like it? I like it. Did you see that pommel, by the way? It has a, the SOG four-point tang. Look at that. 
touch of class right there. That's China on it, but still, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think those are ballistic nylon sheaths as well, but they're actually yes. pretty decent. Yeah, they're decent. Yeah. They're not bad. It's not our high-end stuff, but it, it, you know, somebody on a budget, it's a great soft knife to get into. Totally. And pull that wood line out, bro. This is the one I said I love, and he's like freaking. He's like, what? I love the wood line. Because one, it comes so sharp. I think this is 8CR13, isn't yes. it? Yes. 8CR 13 MOV, great jimping on that. It's a gorgeous wood handle. Has a really deep finger groove on it. And it comes with a leather sheath, and the price point will blow your mind. It comes in two different sizes, the wood line does. I had a friend go run it, and he skinned with it, and he loved it. Yeah. The only thing he criticized it on is that sharp tip for the intestines when he came around on the inside of the elk. Yeah, uh, it's you know you want kind of a spoon bill more of a rounded profile so you don't pin yeah. puncture but he's like as long as you take care he loved it I think that's a great knife for the money that's a sog wood line it sound like a commercial dude <laughs> we should be paying you Re Lee's still pointing at me he's like don't screw it up man he's watching you the tsunami haven't reviewed it love it for a tonto tipped knife what kind of sheets that come with that is a ballistic nylon uh, Molly compatible if that came with a Plastic sheath that I could wear on Molly gear upside down. You're talking a favorite sh soldier blade. Well, same that one? With, yeah, same with your Northwest Ranger. Your Northwest Ranger is one of my all time favorite soldier blades. Guys yep. that are in aerial operations, they need a utility blade, maybe to kill a, a bad guy here and there blade. Yep. Mostly utility. But it's, it's not sexy. Where, so, where is it? It's functional. It's Look functional. at how cool looking that blade is. Look at that. Oh, dude. I'm all about function. Well, I'm not all about it. I like some second kind of cool stuff here. I'm holding against carpet so you guys can see it. There's my buddy, the Northwest Ranger. Ranger. Oh my gosh, do I love that knife. Reviewed it. Comes in black, satin. It's lightweight. It's strong. It's got a great steel on it. Excellent jimping. I'm getting carried away again, Chris. So we move on? Okay, so you're deploying overseas. You want to, which one are you taking? Remember the I'll tsunami. Take which one of our knives? No, between the two, I'm giving you. I'm gonna take that one. Smart man. Yeah. It's lighter weight, more compact. Yep. It's more useful than this one is. That has a really delicate yeah. tip on it too. Yeah. Which is kind of unusual because most Tanto blades have a really strong tip on it. But you well, want I mean, the, the more gradual it, yeah. approach. Yeah. So you're going for more, I don't know, sharpness, whatever. Yeah. I still like it. I think it's cool. That's a sock tsunami. Dagger reviewed it in 2008. Love it. Maybe 09. I forget. How are those selling? Good. <laughs> that is a lot of knife for the money. All the lineup, the these these are USA produced or overseas? No, those are Taiwan. Overseas, overseas. Yeah, yeah. 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 Is that because your price point, if you did them in the states, would just go off the chart? It would be off chart, and they wouldn't sell as well as with it. They are. True or false? When you price a knife over two hundred dollars, it just kind of tanks for sales. For us, it does. Yeah, it's it's two hundred dollars for us is sort of the magic number. If you keep it under two hundred dollars for a fixed blade, it's going to do well. Yeah, because you just dial out a lot of the market. I mean, there's guys that'll buy. Four or five, six hundred dollar knives, but just not a lot of them. We can't, you know, we can't, we can't justify it at that point. Amen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you get a lot of quality. There's our GovTac, the replacement for my favorite of the fixed blades, and that was a SOG government agent. That's an OS 8 too, right? Uh, yes. My review is a long time awesome. ago. Yeah. Sometimes I forget the details. Tiger I, Shark. I work with it every day, and I forget the details. I know. I, I hear you. Is that Tiger Shark? Tiger Shark. Yep. Those are cool blades. I don't know if I'd ever have a need for one though. Dude, check this out. I've been wearing this in my run and gunning for a long time. That's a SOG Field Pop. This is not a super awesome looking knife, but you talk about a functional field knife that's stainless, rust resistant, and weighs next to nothing. This knife is the bomb. And the ballistic nylon sheath that comes with it is excellent. Yeah, yeah. Because it's Molly compatible. It is. It is. You guys That was my in. camp knife for the, like three years. And how'd you like it? Loved it. Three years doing what? Running from the law? Yes. Rambo <laughs> style in the woods? Hiding in trees. <laughs> Hiding in trees? <laughs> what were you doing? Serving? No, it wasn't three years in a row, but I used it off and off oh, for three okay. years. And you liked it? Yep. It's super light. I love that. And there's a large version of the Field Pup. That's a small version. We saw the blade light right there. What do we got? What do we got? We got the Ops, the Seal Pup. Show me this lead. one right here. That one, the Ops? The Ops, I haven't shown these guys yet. Not on my camera. Look at that. So what's the advantage of this over a Seal Pup Elite? Other than it has that most awesome thumb ramp there. Hey, it's That's a sick. I love that thumb ramp. That's awesome. Go ahead, bro. That's kind of, it's kind of a new blade shape. We're calling it like a tactical drop point. Okay. It's, uh, it's very organically shaped, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, it's not bad. It's got the same handles as Heel Pup Elite. Exact same handle, same stock. Just Very similar. Engine. Yep. Cool thing we did though with it, we've got this awesome molded sheath for it. Now that's Seal what I'm talking in there. about, dude. That's what you got to put on your, uh, your. Where'd that Northwest Ranger go? Put this sheath with that. You heard All right, it first. got it. Please, please do that, and I'll I'll buy some more when you do that. <laughs> buy some more. Look at this sheath. This sheath is excellent. Look at that. It's waterproof. Where's your drain hole? There it is. It's got a drain hole in there. Top grade nylon. I can tell by nylon just looking at it if it's crap or if it's awesome. This is really good nylon right here. Nice. And that comes with that. It comes with the ops and we'll hit it. it's available for the seal pump as well. I'm digging it, dude. I'm digging it. Price point on that. The sheath or the knife? Uh, well, the sheath's like 25. The knife is right around uh, 100. Hold up, dude. So the sheath doesn't come with a knife standard? No, you can buy it separately. Oh, I see. So if you need it as a replacement, replace it. Oh, okay. But when I buy this, it comes with that. Yep. Okay, I'm with it. Yep. And yep. would this fit anything else, like a Seal Pup Elite? The sheath? Yeah. The sheath fits Seal Pup Elite, Seal Pup, and the Ops. You probably just told me that. <laughs> sorry. I was messing with the exposure of my camera, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love that Seal Pup Elite. Love it. I reviewed that, gave it a, a different, uh, its own review. Re actually, I think it was 2010 when I did it. Great knife. Those still sell like crazy, don't they? Yep. And best, this selling, is, best selling fixed blade that we have is really, blade. and that is a favorite soldier blade, as it very well should be. What, what's that coloration? I don't know if we've seen that. Tiger stripe. Yeah, that's cool. Show that real quick. Very cool. Working around. Oh, dude, it's 22 minutes into it, Chris. We're 20, 22 minutes, and when I came here last year, it was like swarmed with people. I'm actually quite happy we are. Yeah, it's, we have it's, some quiet time. I and it's the first day. Me. That one? Yeah. Vulcan fixed blade. Don't know nothing about it. VG10, made in Japan, modeled off of our Vulcan folder. Hate it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't like it. Thanks. Hate it. <laughs> don't like it. It is full tang. I just, I don't know. Sorry, bro. No? Moving on. Not offended. <laughs> Sorry. That's why we make a lot Look of knives. Look at this one though. Look how cool that one looks. For second kind of cool, that's just a cool looking blade. Yeah. That's your special edition of that one. VG10 Sanmai. Yep. That's a good looking blade. Good looking blade. Limited edition, no doubt. No, it's regular production. Just oh, not, really? Yeah, just higher end. Okay. I'm sorry, I screwed that one up. No, that's alright. Sog Tech Bowie. Reviewed it in 09, 08, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's, it's going back to the Sog tradition of combat fighting knives, fixed blades. It is amazing. Do you have an appointment you need to get to? No. If you do, I'll wrap it up <laughs> quick. We can wrap it up. I just, I just love this knife. Let's take a look at that. Uh, we'll take that yeah. one? Oh, I just love this knife. Give me one so second. cool. There you go, guys. Look at that. Already reviewed. Love it. Haven't reviewed this one yet. Going solo in the SOG booth. The Recon Bowie. That is a cool knife. I will tell you, I love that knife too. That beautiful, graceful fighting blade. I'm sure it comes razor sharp out of box. Has a standard handle, full tang, spanner nut on the end. All the stuff I've talked about with the other, excuse me, SOG knives. And then we go to these. Oh my gosh, check these out. Got free reign at the SOG booth. I think I'm just gonna clean these out and run away. Look at this mamma jamma. Oh my gosh! Super Sog Bowie. Bowie knife. Look at that. That is a good looking blade. This thing is mammoth. Huge! It's got a big handle on it, stack leather washer. Let's see where this is made. It's got to be overseas. Yeah, Taiwanese. Excellent quality control. Check the edge on it. Sick. Sick edge on that. That's the Sog, Super Sog Bowie knife. That is... What? Maybe 10 inch blade? What's the blade length on that, Chris? Oh, what is that? Uh, nine, nine ish? All right, I was thinking 10 ish just off looking at it. Then we have the Sog Bowie knife. The Creed, I reviewed that. There's a black one, the Sir do you, one. Do you know what we call that in the office? What? The Zombie Slayer. <laughs> I love that knife. I love the Creed. I like its weight forward design. It's, it's got awesome. that beautiful yeah. handle nice on it. Nice chopper. Oh, it's just, it's got a really high quality leather sheath with it, which for that blade style, you're gonna have to have a leather sheath. And then we come to the very heralded and much talked about SOG Agency blade. Oh, isn't that cool looking? There's a satin finished one. I reviewed the black finished one. We gave two of those away with SOG knives to some very lucky TMPers. 
just ran into a guy at SHOT Show, just came up to us out of the blue. I told Chris this off camera, and he's like, man, I just bought a SOG agency. I absolutely love it. Awesome. He's a tactical operator, can't say in what. Right. Great knife, great, great, great knife. SOG Demo. Dude, I bet you that's selling like crazy, isn't it? Is, it? it is. That is a cool looking knife. Can you tell them about the history on that and what? The uh, the original one is uh, it was one of the five knives that the SOG company was founded off of. The demo, they were they did like 39 of them. 36 of them went out on an op. None of them came back. None of the guys came back. Very sad. Yeah. This and is... there were three left being known in existence of the originals. And this is sort of our modern interpretation of the original. The original had leather washers, brass cross guard, yeah. carbon steel blade, stainless steel, stainless steel cross guard, crate and, handle. And speaking of which, you did it. You did a leather stacked handle. We did demo, and those sold like crazy. We did, did a Damascus one, which was ridiculous. Oh my gosh! I wish I would have bought one of those. Maybe not. I would just been happy with a regular leather yep, stack, yep. normal, just as a collectible, second kind of cool, exactly, off the charts yeah. knife. And by the way, check this out. And you and I were talking off camera this. If some guys roll in, they'll go, you know what, it's a factory blade, it's never gonna grow up, go up in value. That's not true. If you look at some SOG knives that have been discontinued, like the SOG government agent, I went to eBay and it's selling like for 300 plus new in box. Yep. The SOG government agent, the scoob, scuba demos already are probably going for high yeah. dollar, aren't they? The ones to look, yeah, those are, the ones to look up are the Desert Dagger and the original Tiger Shark and the SK5 carbon steel. Those are going for like 500 bucks. Yeah, beautiful knife. And they're factory blades done right. Look at that trident. That's a gorgeous knife. Wow, love it. This is an A plus case. This whole, well it goes like this, Chris. It goes A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus, and C. <laughs> Sorry. Could you be a little you more guys, harsh? You guys could, well that's why they watch me. They know I'm not gonna hold back. Vulcan, some guys out there probably love it. Yeah. And, and, yeah. So, and guys that follow projects, there's all kinds of preferences. Look at these clowns. Totally taking a breather. At least they don't have to do this though, lighting duties, because you have excellent light in this Thank booth. You. Excellent light. Let's go look at your peg real quick, see if there's anything I missed. All right, so that's a SOG Aura. We covered that. Aura Seal, I didn't cover that. No. I don't know if I've even seen that one yet. And the Team Leader, I did it, uh, and the steel you had on that was what? The, it was a Duratec. The Duratec yes. seal. Was it the S30V? No, no, no. Yeah, it's a CPM steel, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's really high-end steel, and I love it. I just love that knife. You guys, honestly, if you... And this is a more affordable steel in what? Os8? Uh, yes. Os8. Os8, yeah. This is a great blade. If you had a sheath like that plastic one over there, great, great, great yeah. knife. Uh, kind of a thin tip, though. If you want... It's definitely a field working knife. Yeah. And a, not, not a beater. It's a surgeon's tool yes. on that tip. So if you need something stronger, maybe go with a uh, Northwest Ranger. Look at that. Dude, I didn't see that. That's Shut a big up. field pub. Yeah, but I didn't see it in black. Well, that's because it was in black. It was stealth. <laughs> Dude, I love that. What kind of sheath? That's that same. Oh, leather sheath? Seriously? Oh, man. If, why don't you do that ballistic nylon sheath for that big one? No? We don't have one that fits it. Yeah. Right. Where's the mint? So let me show them this one. This one I'm talking about. What's the other oh, now? But you have an option. We have an option for a nylon. Right, yes. right. Yes. If, I love that knife, though. I mean, that black one, just very cool. What's this down here? Jungle Warrior. Okay, cool. Zombie killer, maybe? Zombie, yeah. Oh, there's that. Zombie pop. Zombie thing again. That's getting old. Jungle Canopy. Yeah. These are overseas produced knives. I think I did have one of these and I thumped with it. It was okay. It's okay. Tomahawk, we talked about that. I don't know if I've done a re I haven't done a review on that. There's a revolver, did that. We're wrapping it up, guys. Hang with us, hang with us. And there's the multi tools. The power assist. Then fancy, do you have a review on that? I need to do a review. I just right. have to. All I right. have to do it. We'll make it happen. Guys are gonna be upset. I gotta do it. And actually I'm more fond of these more traditional tools. These are the hard use tools. That's what I like. The other one's a medium use, like just yep. like I said. Exactly. What else, dude? What else? Did I miss anything? Tool logic stuff you want to talk Folders? about? We haven't even talked about our folding. Oh knives. yeah, go over there. Let's go. How much? How long have we been talking? I don't know. What's it say? Thirty. Thirty. <laughs> we probably lost seventy-five percent of the audience. Eh. Eh. Oh yeah, my baby. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. The best EDC knife in the business, right here. Okay, one of them. There's a lots. There's lots and lots. Look at that sucker. Flash one. Love it. 
Visionary okay. one, my EDC. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, I haven't reviewed this. That is super light. I like it. Yeah. Steel I mean, I, liners. I'm a fan PG10. of the full flat grind, the classic drop point. And when you get into these more funkier grinds, eh, sometimes my enthusiasm wanes. I ain't gonna lie. Look at that the standard deep carry pocket clip from Sog. Ouch! I think I just got myself. <laughs> hey, I'm looking through a viewfinder. Back up. So <laughs> that's just awesome. Great jumping on that. Here we go. You put it away. I don't want to hurt myself. Oh, anymore. <laughs> I will say you have sharp knives. Nothing fancy cuts himself with the Sog boot. I'm looking through the viewfinder. Bill? Oh, totally did. Totally did. I'm showing it too. That's hilarious. I will vouch for the sharpness. That's a SOG visionary. Let me ask you this though, seriously. Yes. Why don't we do a better coloration in the uh, plain edge? You do some really cool col handles like the Partial digital camel. Oh yeah, with the partial serrated. Partial blades. serrated though. Why don't we go plain edge? Oh, we got the we got a plain edge gauge. You just huh? yeah. And I, dude, I've reviewed the heck out of that. I love that. Yeah. I own it myself. That's what I'm talking about. But can we do that that same exact coloration in a flash too? We can work on it. Please do. Okay. Please do. We'll make it a nut and fancy edition if you want. All right. Then it won't. We got enough response. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys tell them if you want a nut and fancy flash two in that coloration right there, or flash one. So you want that? Exactly. In with, plain edge. With where's where? Well, that's it right there. That's a flash plain two. Plain edge. Just plain edge. Where's the plain edge blade? I don't know. I don't Where know. is it? I don't know. It's not in here. No, you want that? That's it, brother. Black plain edge or shiny plain edge? Mm, oh no, black. Black. Uh, okay. Is that that you have it almost right no, there? Straight. That's a beautiful. Straight edge. Color. Straight edge. Yeah, I mean, if you could do it. I love the colorations of these, by the way. Love them. Those are excellent. The orange, but again, you're going partially serrated. Who's making that call, by the way? I say, hey, it's special edition. We got to go partially serrated. Or does it just sell better? It's partially serrated sell better. Really? Yeah. Really? Every yeah. manufacturer is different because I'll go to other manufacturers. They'll go, you know, the serrated knives don't sell well at all. It's always plain edge. It just depends on what knife it is. Doesn't depends it? on the knife, yeah. Totally does. Yeah. All right, I better wrap we this up. Wrap it up. Well, I'm gonna kick us out of here from blood loss. <laughs> I'm gonna get some quick clone for you. <laughs> yeah, I need some quick. I love this knife though. Aegis is excellent. That funky blade shape. You guys know how I feel about that. Trident. Trident is awesome. Love it. There's some colorations right there. Those are all excellent. And this is again the same thing. If I had that in a plain edge, I'd be very excited about it. Saw those. And if anything, honestly, I'm kidding around a lot here, dude. If there's anything I'm missing you want to talk about, do it. I think, I mean, I think we're pretty good right now. Okay, there's our Twitch series. Yeah, blink. I haven't reviewed that one. I like the blink though. That's a pretty cool little gentleman's knife. It's really cool. Carries yeah. deep. It's super slim. Super it's fast. fast. Super fast. That's what I was gonna say. Look at that pure black one. I love that. Yeah. I got it on the carpet. Those. those are cool. Dude, look Watch how fast. That. <laughs> Who needs an auto, man? It's loud. Can you hear this? Listen. I love it. It has a personality to it. It's you're a gentleman, but you're kind of. It's the gentleman's knife with a naughty attitude. It is. Love the blink. How much, and that's aluminum handles on that. Aluminum right? handles, yes. Talked about the Twitch 1, Twitch 2. They're just excellent knives. This is an A plus section right here. A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus. Yeah. B? It just depends. Preference on grind runs off. Right, right. So, same knife, it's just. That's why we make grind. a lot of skews. That's right. And, I mean, some people like it. Love the trident. Wrapping it up. And I never really showed this. How are these yes. selling? These are good. I mean, they're kind of like Spider Co. Enduras. You guys get done with your break over there? What are you talking about? Yeah. Exactly. This has been a great booth review. <laughs> I love uh, the Spider Code. I ain't gonna lie, love it. And there's your offering on it. Yep. Any advantages over it? Uh, you know, Spider Co. Spider Co's are kind of expensive. So you, the, we're a little cheaper. Unless you go with their bird line, which is right. very important. Right, right. The, the cool thing we figured out with these, the little slot there. And Did actually, you do that so you wouldn't have a patent infringement or something? <laughs> don't lie. I, I, I wasn't part of the design process, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, but, I already but know the answer it, to that. It grabs right. your thumb. Oh, so your thumb fat gets in there a little bit more. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Price point on that, Chris? 45 okay, retail. Okay, doable. So and street price, 35 Is that Teflon or DLC coated? It's Looks uh, like Teflon. Yeah, it's, it's... DLC would be too yeah, expensive. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, maybe we'll check those out one of these days. And then we've got some old school SOG knives. What's that one again? Auto clip. Auto clip, that's right. How are those selling? Good, good. There's that wood line small. That's, that's actually a, the folder. That's the folder, yep. The folder. And that's actually a pretty cool knife, just a little bit on the heavy side. Yeah. And these ones, I don't like. All right, what else? 
I think we're good. I gotta run. We got. I gotta. Oh, you gotta wrap up. It's like five thirty. They're kicking us out. Dude, that's Sog Knives. Chris, you did such an awesome job. Thanks. Thank you for the Thanks. giveaway for the association for making such great high value, awesome we'll do, blades. We'll do some more. We will do some more. That's another fancy project, Shot Show 2011, and Chris from Sog Knives. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks. you.